navigate the digital landscape, it has become increasingly crucial for executive leaders to be aware of the cyber risks their organisations face. It's Andrew Philp, I'm back with Monday Minutes and I'm excited to bring you our second episode, shedding light on an issue that concerns every organisation's top leadership, and that's sea level visibility into risks. To talk about this topic today, we have with us David Chow, Trend Micro Chief Technology Strategy Officer, and a special guest, Eric Sim, who's the CTO and CIO of ST Logistics in Singapore. By the end of this episode, you'll know how Eric enhances visibility into cyber risks, prioritizes resources effectively, and creates a culture of cybersecurity awareness. Over to you, David. Hi everybody, I'm David Chow. Uh, it's great to be here for the Monday Minute. I'm here with Eric Sim. Uh, Eric, can you talk about yourself a little bit? Introduce yourself a little bit? All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Eric. I work for ST Logistics, so I'm the CTO, CIO for ST Logistics. So Eric has been a long-time Trend Micro customer, uh, and, and thank you so much for agreeing to be on this, this episode. Sure. Uh, would you mind sharing a little bit about the cybersecurity posture within your environment? So um, we are very focused on cybersecurity. We we, we treat cybersecurity as a number one priority uh, for the company, uh, primarily because ST Logistic is a, is a quasi-government uh, kind of company. Our key customers are from the government agency that put a lot of emphasis on cybersecurity. We see cybersecurity as a competitive advantage, and that really sets it uh, very high in terms of uh, priority for the company. Uh, we, we discuss cybersecurity at a at the board level on a quarterly basis, uh, discussing what are the controls we should be put in place, what are the investment we need to play, uh, put in place. So we come from a, a state where probably where cybersecurity is developing in the company to a mature stage uh, right now. So we are very proud of what we have done. And, uh, and of course, cybersecurity is always changing. We will continue to invest and make cybersecurity our top priority. Great. And, and I love how your board is actually setting the tone and creating the culture of cybersecurity awareness environment yep. and also giving you the necessary resources. Yep. So that's, that's something that you don't see frequently or commonly uh, within the industry. Yep. So the second question I have is actually related to that. Since you're given resources by the board to mm. do cybersecurity, you don't have, you have a finite budget. How would you be able to prioritize from the risk management, risk mitigation perspective related to cybersecurity? Okay, so what we do is we classify our risk into high, medium, and low, and we obviously prioritize the high uh, cost area. So we focus on the high risk area and, and, and focus our resources on mitigating the high, uh, high cost, high risk area. And um, the rest of resources we would also be used to mitigate our medium and low resources. Um, but obviously, the really low one we probably would not uh, uh, look at it. Uh, so this is it's really a, a, a prioritization uh, exercise that we do, uh, focusing on the high risk area yeah. and to, to keep our uh, cybersecurity uh, control at an optimum level, I would say. Yeah. It's great that your organization recognizing risk prioritization, risk management yep. as a way to move forward uh, because of the finite resources. Of course, yeah. Um, so my last question here is related to your overall visibility within the IT environment. Since you're the CIO, CTO, that's a critical part for you. How do you ensure the necessary visibility of risks as well as cybersecurity issues, incidents within your overall IT environment? Yeah, so in a way, cybersecurity is about what you know, right? So, so uh, visibility is definitely very important. So, um, definitely, the, the the we have we need to have full visibility of our IT assets, and we, we do that. Uh, so, we have tools to help us to monitor the IT assets that we have. Uh, we have a seven by twenty four uh, SOC that monitor the the health of our servers, and of course, we have agents like Trend Micro and uh, other cyber security agents that help us to keep our computing environment safe. We also monitor our external uh, environment in terms of what is the latest threats going on and so on. And, and we do it in a monthly update to the management and share with them what's happening within our environment, what's happening outside our environment to educate people uh, in terms of 
where we are in the cybersecurity landscape. Uh, uh, we also have a team, a cybersecurity team that monitor um, what's up and coming in terms of uh, what are the news out there, are there any major cybersecurity incidents out there and how we can learn from those incidents as well. Uh, visibility is definitely key. Uh, you need to know your environment in order to protect it. Uh, we believe that and we are continuously looking into improving our, our tools in helping us uh, achieve the full visibility, full visibility that we need to manage our environment. Yeah, great. And, and I know that you guys have been a long-time supporter of Trend Micro. Yep. Uh, really appreciate that. And, and, and um, you guys have a really mature organization that's really driving process, people, technology from the yep. cybersecurity standpoint. And it's something that I'm sure that's envy of the industry. But I um, really appreciate it. Uh, coming on and just sharing with your, our audience today. Sure, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, David and Eric. What's really clear in light of the sophisticated threats we're seeing is that allocation of resources and budget is a constant challenge for sea levels. It becomes critical to prioritise investments in cybersecurity effectively and take a holistic approach to managing risks. Well, that's all for our second episode of Monday Minutes. In a fortnight, I'll be joining David Chow in person in Canberra, Australia to discuss privacy data breaches. If you like what you're seeing, be sure to share it, hit the like button, and we'll catch you in a fortnight.